The Battle of Agincourt, fought on October 25, 1415, stands as a remarkable victory for the English against the French during the Hundred Years' War. Despite being heavily outnumbered, the English forces led by King Henry V achieved a stunning triumph. This victory was shaped by the following ten feats of strategic superiority, technological advancements, and exceptional leadership. 1. Superior Longbowmen The English longbowmen were instrumental in the victory at Agincourt. Their long-range arrows could pierce through armour, causing chaos in the French ranks before close combat began. This advantage allowed the English to weaken the French significantly, setting the stage for a battle that was largely won before swords even crossed. 2. Terrain Advantage The chosen battlefield at Agincourt featured muddy, restrictive terrain that proved disastrous for the French, particularly their cavalry. The heavy horses and armoured knights found themselves bogged down, unable to charge effectively. This mire not only slowed their advance, but also made them sitting ducks for the deadly volleys of English arrows. 3. Tactical Deployment King Henry V masterfully utilised the narrow battlefield to his advantage by strategically placing his troops in a way that confined the French forces. This tactic forced the larger French army into a cramped formation, making them more vulnerable to concentrated volleys of arrows. The English arrangement maximised their defensive capabilities while exploiting the enemy's numbers against them. 4. High Morale and Discipline The English troops at Agincourt were highly disciplined and maintained strong morale, crucial factors in their resilience during battle. Under the inspirational leadership of King Henry V, they fought as a unified force, effectively holding their formations against the French onslaught. This collective discipline was key to executing their tactical plans and withstanding pressure from the numerically superior French army. 5. Innovative Use of Archers The English archers at Agincourt were not only effective at long range but also in close combat. When the French troops closed in, the archers used their longbows as makeshift clubs, surprising their adversaries with their versatility in battle. This unexpected use of their primary weapon added a crucial element to the English tactical advantage, disrupting the French assault. 6. French Overconfidence The French army, confident in their superior numbers, underestimated the strategic capabilities of the English forces at Agincourt. This overconfidence led to poor tactical decisions, such as the disorganised and rushed advance towards the English lines. Their lack of caution and preparation allowed the English to exploit French mistakes, turning the battle decisively in their favour. 7. Armour and Weaponry The English troops were equipped with lighter armour, which was better suited to the muddy conditions of Agincourt compared to the heavy plate armour worn by the French knights. This lighter gear enabled the English soldiers to move more freely and quickly across the battlefield. In contrast, the French were weighed down, hindering their mobility and effectiveness in combat. 8. Exhaustion of French troops Many French troops arrived at the battlefield of Agincourt, already fatigued from marching in heavy armour over long distances. This exhaustion was compounded by the challenging muddy terrain, which further sapped their strength. As a result, they were less effective in combat, struggling to maintain their formation and fight with their usual vigour. 9. Leadership of King Henry V King Henry V's leadership was a cornerstone of the English victory at Agincourt. His ability to make decisive, strategic decisions under pressure galvanised his troops, boosting their morale and effectiveness. His presence on the front lines, leading by example, not only inspired his soldiers, but also ensured the cohesive execution of their battle strategy. 10. Poor French Command Coordination the French command structure at Agincourt was plagued by poor coordination and internal rivalries among the nobility. This fragmentation led to ineffective communication and conflicting strategies, which weakened their overall battle plan. The English exploited these leadership flaws, outmaneuvering the French forces and capitalising on their disarray to secure a decisive victory. The English victory at Agincourt was not just a fluke, but a result of strategic planning and effective execution of tactics. 
King Henry Fu's adept leadership and the unique strengths of his army played key roles in overcoming the odds and securing a legendary victory.